All right. Oh yeah. Well, we're a little low on energy tonight. the The episode didn't really lend itself to making us excited. Uh, no. And, and there's Lucas. What's happening? Uh, welcome back to Addicted Media Reviews, Game of Thrones. I fell asleep. Did we start? No, but Carlo's already complaining about the camera angle. We are setting up in a new studio tonight. Uh, the three of us figured it, figured it all out mm -hmm. without our chief technical guy. Mm -hmm. And he's already not happy, but I'm okay with it. So, this was a boring episode. It had not much happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at the end, we know what happened. That was a thing. A lot of smirking. A lot of whiny face. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of time on camera spent of looks. A lot of looks. Yeah. To be fair, everybody. Lucas had heard before the episode from cast that had been trying not to spoil things. that It was a huge episode. And it yeah, just didn't it got, feel they like hyped it up. And it, like I think uh, Kit Harrington tweeted out, and um, Amelia Clark were like, "Oh, everyone better tune into this one. Someone big dies." They said that. They said someone big dies, and so I was like, "That's really weird that you would even say that." But okay, I'm hoping I'm, I'm pumped up for a wild ride now. And by big, they meant. If you haven't seen it yet, I would suggest you turn in to it away now. Spoilers. Well, the producers are probably like, yo, you need to hype this shit up so people come and watch That's this. what I'm saying. The dragon dies. Because. Do you remember which dragon? Uh, Rhaegar. No, Rhaegar. 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 Um, Technically, Drogon is the biggest character on the show. Mm -hmm. The other two dragons were slightly smaller. So you were wrong. <laughs> What about that whale, though? What whale, Alex? Right. That big blue. Big blue whale. There's no big blue whale. It, it was behind. All right, let's jump into the actual the episode. Fleet. Lucas, you tend to like to go in order based on your notes? Yeah. Uh, so the or, episode... What? Don't let me forget at the end. We should go over the Deadpool because we're finally hitting some things. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so the episode, this one also directed by David Nutter. Um and it uh, Maria12258 is asking when was there a whale that's what I'm saying man I mean I'm just assuming yo we saw some fleet action there was boats they were in the ocean there's whales in the ocean we just don't know their names yeah just uh, a fair assumption <laughs> <laughs> George Martin right in a whale <laughs> this is your call to action well, the whale that picked up Masande and took her to whatever ship that kept her dry. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get to the mysterious teleportation that she was able to do. I don't know. I don't know how they fucked her out. Anyway, so the episode starts out with the world's quietest banquet and celebration. And then it just suddenly ramps up into an orgy by the end of it. I mean, an orgy just because we see Jamie and We Brandon? saw like nine people fuck. They're or like, like insinuate that they well, were. Yeah, heavy rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> but did did you did you feel Jamie and Brienne was earned at this point? Yeah, I was actually really happy that uh, they they broned. She has a really good giddy face that makes you really happy for her that she was able to get herself some royalty. <laughs> uh, Maria agrees with me clearly. That it wasn't earned? Did not think that it was earned. Jamie and Brienne. There's no way that... It just kind of happened. Like, I don't... No, I believed it. I believed it. Ever since... Ever since... You could tell the way she was looking at him. But then... Uh, clearly from her side, yeah. From his side. And then especially the way he ended the episode. It was like, what was the point? Did he just take pity I on her? I think for Jamie, she kind of embodies the right thing to do. And that's always what he's wanted to do. And so I guess that's why him leaving kind of carried some weight, but at the same time, very unsatisfying as a viewer for Jamie to just revert back and chase down. But did he, though? 
Cersei. I think there might be something in his specific choice of words because he said that was it that she was bad or something and or that he she's a something that she's bad or something that he is too because of all the stuff that she's done and then all the stuff that he's done so for basically her basically like she's a monster and so am I kind of thing but so many people calling themselves monsters yeah but it sounds like maybe he's like no He's just like not letting her know, but yo, know, I'm not going over there to tell her to get out. That's not gonna happen. She'll figure her own shit out if she really wants to get out. I'm about to stab her in her, in her eye. We hope. <laughs> more mon- lady, more monster. Yeah. <sighs> and when she finds out that she, when she's like, oh, he's like, wait, that baby belongs to him, and she's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, but God, then, I hope this plays out like that. <laughs> one of you just brought it up, the Tormund thing. Because now it's just like, oh, Tormund sadly trudges back to the north. Are we never going to see Tormund again? Yo, that was like kind of a whiny move for such a butch <laughs> dude. He's like, yo, the big woman doesn't like me. I'm leaving <laughs> the country. <laughs> like, wildlings out. <laughs> There's nothing left from here. <laughs> I can't get who I want. We're going back to the cold. Let's go. <laughs> and what did you think of John sending Ghost with him? That was good. I, would, um, I didn't like that at all. No. Even Ghost even gave him a look like, dude, for real? Like, <laughs> you're just going to do me like that? Well, it's like, <laughs> that's not <laughs> guys, guys, the show isn't over yet. We got three episodes. Don't give away all your fighters. <laughs> that was one of my notes. It was just like, you should probably take everybody with you. <laughs> yeah. How come Tormund wasn't like, yo, you know your war isn't over? Because he, he, he didn't care about the South, I well, guess? He didn't, he didn't want to remind John. He's like, oh, shit, he forgot he's letting us go. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh, how did the Hound know that Arya banged? He could see it on her face. <laughs> she had a glow to like, yo, you seem <laughs> happy. <laughs> Did word get around camp? That seems like there's yeah. a lot that happened. Does that mean that, that Gendry was sitting there telling everybody? Probably. The guy. <laughs> I mean, I think she did save the world, so he's like, I suck with that. <laughs> like everybody's like, oh my god, you heard who killed the Night King? It's like, oh, you heard who slept with the person who killed the Night King? No, well, that was me. I I like Julian's comment too. John sent away ghosts because he was trading up for a dragon. And then when he gets there, he's going to be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean my dragon got killed? You're still riding yours. <laughs> how's that going to go? Like, oh, hey, how's it going? So where's where's Rhaegal? <sighs> Yo, for real? I sent my dog away. What am I going to do? <laughs> we did, you didn't, you can send me an email. <laughs> uh. Oh, and the secret. What about the secret with the Starks? Like, oh, uh, fucking Sansa! I felt like I was watching General Hospital for a second. Just, it was like, just like, I have a big secret. Don't tell anybody. Promise me you won't tell anybody. Hey, I'm siblings. I'm going to tell you something, and then immediately everybody knows. I, that's what I'm saying. What like Sansa's the literally the first person she saw. She told. <laughs> she was like, "Okay, I got a secret." Like, literally, could not hold that in. It was pretty short sighted. Uh, they're they're getting to a because it was Tyrion. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting to a place where they're making it. I don't know. I don't know if other people who are feel a different way about Sansa, like oh she is smarter now and she's dope or whatever. But from my perspective, it seems like they're making her suck a good deal. <laughs> and Sansa. Yeah, I'm not a fan, and uh, I would be surprised if she made it out alive at the end kind of this. Kind of, she's kind of, I don't know, she's kind of inherited the role of Littlefinger. Peter, yeah, Peter yeah. Baelish a little bit. I'll say I did not come out of this episode disliking Sansa, though. I came out of this episode more like, God, they're working really hard to make us not like Danny again. Yeah, but I didn't. I don't know. I was just. I feel like, damn, you can't keep a secret. For shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then, well, so John, it's like, John, yo, you know your sister, she's, she'll undercut you in a second, bro. 
And then he's like, oh, I'll tell her anyway. So then she's, instead of her being like, dang, he still told me. Maybe I'll <laughs> hold on to this secret, surprise him. She was just like, stupid. Yo, Tyrion, <laughs> guess what, dude? <laughs> yeah. That's his auntie. <laughs> Nuts, right? Like, if they had iPhones, she would have tweeted that shit out, like, immediately while they were in the gods. But, like, oh. And were, uh-huh. were they all okay? She's like a millennial <laughs> of, of Winterfell. <laughs> were they both okay with the whole incest part of it all? It seemed like that wasn't the, the primary concern uh, that was even going to be brought up. It, that was another thing. It feels like the Game of Thrones universe is pandering to our universe. Like, oh, see, yeah, we're not down with incest. But do they, would they really care out there? Oh, maybe. They, I mean, I guess not. They had two well, incest in Well, Red the Targaryens kings. historically don't care. But the Starks do. The Starks are supposed to be moral and honorable and not into family. So does he? So does he? Does John just completely shed any identity he had as a Stark? Well, that's he's a still a large part of his life. Well, he's still the son of Lyanna Stark too. It's not like he's genetically not part Stark. Oh, true. So, I guess maybe that's in his mind. He's going like, I guess an aunt is good middle ground. <laughs> well, maybe he's like, oh. it's like one generation removed. He's like, it's not my sister. It's not my cousin. But it's my auntie, so that's okay. Well, maybe he's just like, well, I didn't even know I had an auntie until yesterday. <laughs> so, oh, uh, speaking of spilling beans during the feast, uh, Tormund spills the beans that uh, John was rezzed from the grave because I don't think she knew that. They probably before. discussed it. Because she had kept asking him about it. She was looking at his season. wounds last season, wasn't she? Yeah. I well, thought I thought she, he told yeah. her about it. Well, he probably told her yeah, off he, screen. Did she but already I think know? He, I think he, came, she came to the conclusion on her own when she saw the knife wound in his heart. I think it was mentioned in his, what does that say? Title. Title. Oh, no. I thought... Uh, um, that but that was something that John made the Onion Knight stop saying. Yeah, when they were being introduced, she was like, "No, nah, don't tell the whole raise from the dead part." And I then she asked him. Weird. She she's like, so she's all like, "What did that mean, though?" And then that's why she came and like was asking him, talking to him about it. And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah don't worry about." It. So uh, well, well, point point of that is that she seemed even more threatened or Danny seemed even more threatened by the idea that oh man he's got magic powers too like I raised dragons but this dude came back from the he dead. raised his hope oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but part of it too is she probably is just like dang I did all this stuff I got all these people over here I saved everybody or helped save everybody and they still want this guy just because he's a dude. That's about some bull. Well, I also thought it was funny because she almost had this look of like, I, I came back from the dead yeah. too. But that, I, I, that was just six seasons ago, so nobody remembers. <laughs> well, she she also seemed like she was like, hey, I I also ride on. I think I was the first to ride on the dragons. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. But see, this goes into my point from earlier. She just seems very petty in this episode. It's like they're working overtime to get you dis- to dislike her. Because they're aware of like, oh shit, the show went too far. Well, She's the favorite character. She shouldn't be the favorite character because that's not who's going to end up on the throne. Well, I've kind of, you've kind of seen that quality about her throughout the entire series. I yeah, think that's why been. that's why her finding out that so, there's someone else, which she she thought she was the sole heir to the throne, right? Yeah. Now she finds out that's been literally ripped out from under her, and so now all the pettiness is coming out to a point where she's begging. And she said she's never begged before. And through that that strong woman that we've seen throughout the entire series is now at a point of begging. And she's not happy about that. So I think I think the whole ramping up the pettiness thing is telling you that she does not like the fact that she's not the rightful queen. Or that she he has more say. Yeah. And now that he told and she's gonna find out that he told and she's like, Yo, I had begged and then you still uh, she begged it? and then she switched to I'm commanding that's yeah. what I got from the end of that conversation where he's yeah, like I wish much. there was a way we could be together and she's like I just told you how we're gonna do it and it felt like yeah. she was saying like I'm your queen I just gave you an order don't talk mm-hmm. about this yeah. yeah but then he oh man then he could always be like whenever they get in an argument like 
Yo, I'm actually the kind of the king. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it down. He has that above her the whole time. Gonna bring that down to about a seven, please. <laughs> Maria, I I think the her making Gendry legit stuff was pretty transparent to everybody in the room, or at least it was transparent to us watching it. Where it was like she was solely doing it just to try to get people on her side. Well, I thought she was going to start throwing out titles like Oprah because there's so many houses that need occupy- to be occupied. So I thought she was starting with Gendry and going to be like, and you get a house, and you get a house, new sigil for you. But no. <laughs> but I, I think I think it's just like a situational thing for Danny because had she, had they been in East Essos, she'd still be praised right just the way i mean johnson home court you know what i mean well it's like she's got to get over this idea of like in essos she was operating freeing slaves it was clear like black and white like good versus evil now she's in the game and it's like oh wait there's other people that that are just as good Mm -hmm. like i'm not just this like shining beacon of Mm -hmm. greatness and royalty like the way i am in essos Mm -hmm. And I think that's why which she's going to fail. No, which, well, I mean, I, I kind of like that because to me throughout this whole series, she's kind of been this one-dimensional flat character who's always been just, I'm just the hero. And, you know, that's that's all she says is I'm the hero and I'm going to free everybody. But now her motivation has been rocked. And now we're going to get to see her kind of deal with that emotionally because the only thing that she's really been dealing with emotion-wise has been like lovers and now she has to deal with some real crap. Agreed. Yeah. What? what? So I think that was like the first five minutes of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Other things happened. Yeah. But, uh, Varys man. is turning. Varys is. I, I like Daenerys that train. conversation with Tyrion and Varys, though, because it was it was very like telling of where Tyrion sits and where Varys has always sat. And Tyrion just called them out for like, how many people are you going to say, this is the one? And then as soon as they do something wrong, you're like, oh, no, i got to find somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I was happy Tyrion did not die. Is he seems to be the only character that's like, this is a cycle that's going to keep going and going. We're never going to find somebody perfect. You just got to find one person that we all believe in and help her be that good person. Mm-hmm. But I think after the antics of this episode, she- Daenerys next episode is probably going to do something that Tyrion's like, dang. She's a little far gone. So, Varys, what were you thinking? No? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I spaced out. I'm, I'm so tired. Uh, Maria is saying that she really liked the way Arya rejected Gendry. I did, too. I was very proud of her for sticking through who she is. She's not a nameless girl. She's not a lady. She's Arya. She's yeah, bad. And the, she was like, ass. yo, you were just quick work so that I could figure out how to handle the hound. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yo, bro, I was just trying to get laid. <laughs> 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 you need to chill the fuck out, though. Yeah. Like, you, you're in love with me already? <laughs> well, here's well, a question. Yeah, I know. That would have been so funny if she threw that in his face. Like, love? Mm, I just saw you for the first time for like <laughs> in like six years. You too. are quick, chill out. <laughs> she, she threw him away, but then she immediately got on the road with the Hound to go down to King's Landing, and it's like, oh, she's got to finish her list. She's got to kill Cersei. If she survives, would she then settle down? Nope. No. Nope. No, she wants... I think she wants to travel the road the kind of way the Hound is right now. Yeah, she... Yeah, she oh, man. Yeah, that's her. That her, that's her role model. That's a mess of role model, but yeah, that's her role <laughs> model. <laughs> I would love to see a buddy cop show with the two of them. It'd be pretty funny. That's the kind of the dynamic it would be as a buddy cop show. <laughs> them just rolling around the realm. What are you doing? And then you know, she she maybe she does the. Everything is nothing. Speech again, and good, good pitch. Just <laughs> go to HBO. Yeah. Kill somebody. Yeah. Brutally. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so we lost John in his his more than two week journey to get down to King's Landing. 
And everybody else apparently is just teleporting around Westeros because they got to the ocean, they got to their ships, from there they got to Dragonstone, this was my first, that then was, they got to King's Landing. That was my first thought. I was like, wait, how far is Winterfell from Dragonstone? That, wait, that's far. And they just got there. And I know we talked about last season, yeah. like they were doing the same thing, but it just feels like they're so plot light. Where they're just like, well, let's just, it's like you turn up the knob on like the world, like just turn up the speed so you can get there fast. Yeah. We got nothing else to do anymore. We don't have any characters left. We don't have any plot left. Let's get to like the, the exchanging of words and the battles. Which is messed up because I think like, yeah, they're moving so fast with the last few seasons. But the last few seasons are suppo- are taking up uh, the last few books are supposed to be taking up like the next two books, right? And the next two books are supposed to be um, bigger than the last book, both of them. So they're a- both actively going to be close to two books each. I mean, at this point, the books are going to be vastly different, I feel like. Even oh, like yeah. even huge <laughs> plot points, like how the wall comes down, I think is completely different in the books. Well, also, yeah. Plus, I think that some of the huge theories and huge plots in the book actually have payoffs, like the... Was it the Martell plot? The Aurelio plot? Well, None the of books, that. George R. R. Martin loves Dorne. And he's down in Dorne all the time in the books. The show yeah. didn't know what to do down there, so they had like four episodes, five episodes, and then they were done. <laughs> well, it seems like they're just like, yo, so what are the Dornish supposed to look like? They're like roughly supposed to be Middle Eastern. Oh, but that's a black guy that we cast it. So... Well, I don't know any other uh, Middle Eastern actors to choose. Yeah, let's just get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, Alex was telling me uh, the other day that he actually did some re- more research on the War of the Roses, which I guess uh, Song of Ice and Fire is supposed to be it's like roughly influenced yeah. from. Yeah, the actual historical event. Hmm. Uh, and so he was he was telling me that he was reading more into it. Did any of this that panned out? Or that is panning out in this season. Are they still relating it to that, or are they off on their own kind of? I mean, the main thing that I think is initially, I think that they were under that Daenerys was supposed to be more of like the Henry the Seventh character, but now with the kind of switcheroo, uh, John is more the uh, Henry the Seventh character, where he's supposed to. unite the realms by because he is the blood of uh both kind of or whatever Mm -hmm. uh maria's asking what big differences do i know of from books to tv show biggest things i know of uh the sixth book called the winds of winter on the cover i believe they have some giant horn and i remember reading about it it's been a while since i've read the game of thrones books but in the books that horn is supposedly capable of bringing down the wall so they're hinting around that like that's how they do it in the books especially since there is no night king in the books at least not up to this point and he's such a major part of the series especially this final season you just can't help but wonder like what is the battle of winterfell without the night king what is the magic solution to everything without the king what, what is the rest of this show without the night king you know what i mean i i debated going into this i'm like why do i even care anymore they, they, they fought death itself. Why do I care about what happens to anybody else? Which leads to my next point. <laughs> they have moved on from the two towers, and now we're doing Return of the King. <laughs> oh, they had the massive battle against all the giant forces of darkness, mm-hmm. and they settled down. Now they're getting ready to go into Mordor. They even had the part where they ride up to the gates. They send an emissary uh, for, forth. So does Cersei, a.k.a. Sauron, the mouth of the king, or the mouth of Sauron comes out, they exchange words, blah, blah, blah. I'm just watching this in my head. I'm like, I know, I've seen this before. I know there's little tweaks that are different, but God, they're borrowing so much from Lord of the Rings. I, I don't know. I feel like most of this is traditional boar etiquette, though. So you can kind of give them a pass and like, eh, this is kind of the way these things go in general. It is, it is following pretty closely, like timeline-wise. Exactly what Lord of the Rings is doing. You're right. Like but. I can't help but wonder if they were like, well, we don't have the books anymore. 
we should follow something. <laughs> the next best thing. There's a loose plot in, in Lord of the Rings that we can kind of oh, follow. Oh, God. I own wish characters. I could find out. I just want to choke one until they admit. Like, yes, we're doing it. Yes, that's maybe what we're doing. Well, it because seems I like, just don't care anymore. Like, I'm sorry, guys. George R. R. Martin is just like, nah, I'm not giving you anything. Like, you don't even. Where is it still making a show? <laughs> that's kind of a thing. Maria just asked me what jewelry they have to destroy in Game of Thrones to win. <laughs> I, and it made that, me... that dumb ring around Sansa's neck. I <laughs> hate that. Is thing. she a maester? Now? I, don't know. I thought only the maesters wore chains like that. Ugh, I fucking hate that thing. I don't know why it bothers me so much. Do you know that that new thing? She's that bolo, whatever she's wearing now. I hate it. Oh uh, yeah. I will say she's... because she asked about jewelry, it also reminded me of something else that they borrowed the last episode. I don't remember if we talked about it, but the end with with Melisandre, and I saw. I, I'm not. This isn't my idea. I saw it on the internet. It's definitely the end of Titanic. The old oh. lady <laughs> picks off her jewelry and then she dies. Here Why did anyone run out and grab that? Like people saw her just take that off and then she I feel like Davos the, saw she got that. snapped. Davos should have just been like, I could be young again. That would have been dope. Like just the, the next episode is just young Davos and you don't even know like who the hell is that new dude? And he's just like <laughs> Yo, How's he what's gonna good? Play off this sick ruby redneck. Just gonna throw a scarf over. It. He's like, what's good? Uh, okay, so they're doing the whole parlay thing, right? No, I guess it's not a parlay. That's pirate well, before stuff. we got to that part, you got to talk about the 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 death of the dragon. Oh yeah, that ambush was pretty cool. I got I got pretty psyched about that ambush. But as soon as they said they were going by ship back to Dragonstone, I'm like. It's been a while since we've seen Euron's fleet. Uh, He's on that side of the yeah. ocean. Like I they, got surprised. Like, why would they think that they're just safe on the oceans? They had just talked about how she's being supplemented by the Golden Army and Euron's <laughs> Iron Fleet. And she's got like six ships, and she's like, no, 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 I'm going to go, go around back to my home that everybody knows I'm going back to because it's called Dragonstone. Ugh. Do you think they were just like waiting there behind that island? Like, <laughs> any minute now. I <laughs> I think something that might be able to like turn it all around where the writers are just like boom hit you with some real shit is if it turns out that this was all a plot by everybody pretending to help Daenerys and they were purposely fucking up and then it would explain a lot yeah because some a, a lot of these a lot of these like strategic war moves that they've been messing up on, it's like, damn, dude, who is your strategist? Oh, yeah, and she sucks at flying that dragon. I'm sorry, but she's horrific. I know she dodged all those bolts that were coming at her from the ship. But is that her or is that Drogon? It could, I mean, I don't know. It could be a little of both, but all she had to do, those crossbows were at the stern of those boats. Oh, I thought the same thing. Keep going. <laughs> All she had to do was go around behind them and light them up. Or go Didn't really they... high. Or go behind the round oh, yeah. the mountain. Go high and come straight tr- down. Can't turn around. Yeah, she couldn't turn around. They can't turn around with those things because they got big ass black sails in front of them. Yeah. No strategy. See, oh man, what's going on with the strategy? Is it the bow? It is the bow. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, it's bow of the stern. I'm just going to, I have a 50-50 shot at this. Thank you, Dollar Hoodat Boat Expert. Learn your nautical terms, bro. I know. Dang. But I will, Noah's never even been on a boat. Otherwise, so. your comments will all be sunk. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, <laughs> yeah. I was, so I was really Are you still shipping John and Daenerys? Stop. 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 I will pull the plug <laughs> on everything right now. Uh okay so is that it is that it about the ambush? Uh, Missande being captured. I think Alex had a good point earlier. Yeah, she. Well, I mean, I guess it some time went by, so I guess maybe that's why she was very dry. Um, but <laughs> you know, you know what they say about getting a black girl's hair wet, get a lot of trouble. But yeah, so. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> How did Grey Worm not catch that? Like he, it was, she was on his ship, and then after it got tore up, turned to Swiss cheese, he wasn't like, "Wait, hold, hold up, where's Masande?" Like, but he wasn't thinking about that before he got to shore. And then who just scooped her up out of everybody swimming to shore? 
Yeah, how did they know to Did get, she just like, go the wrong way? And then <laughs> <laughs> everybody's like, Masande, no, this way. No, I, I think I see the shore over there. Oh, no, that's Euron. What's good? <laughs> also, what was the point of having the mast of the ship fall on Tyrion? Oh, they, no, they, they thought they were being cute. Because then they made it hit black, and then you're like, yo, is the episode really going to end on this? And then, boop, yo, <laughs> we got you. Everybody's going to shore or whatever. Uh, guess what? Masande went the wrong way. Yeah, that was another moment where uh, Tyrion's fine again. And then and then there's another moment where we get into that. But where really, he, I he could swim. I mean, I'm sure Peter Dinklage can swim. But I don't believe that his character would be able to that was, swim. Yeah, that was a big distance. Especially if he just got clobbered by that mask thing. And he was dodging all those bolts like the Matrix. I mean, I told you what I was hoping. I was hoping that he would go into the water and that, that Rhaegal was not dead and that Tyrion would rise up out of the water riding the dragon. We'd have a big moment. I don't know how that would happen. Oh, he Marie, took there was a moment. to the throat. There was a moment where they explained how they knew Masande was captured. What's her name? Did I, what did I say? No, you're right on no, the name. What was the moment? I forget. But I remember Solid. thinking the same thing. There was no, 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 no. I, the whole time, I was thinking, "Oh, we don't know where Masande is," and then suddenly she's with Cersei, and you're like, "How the fuck would that happen?" That was a whole like, how did they know to get her first of all? Because Euron knows none of these people. Well, he met her at the he met her at the when they were trying to come to an agreement. Euron. Yeah, he was there right before he dipped to go pick up the gold. Remember, they have they, they have the whole like company council of like all the leaders uh, yeah, to see the uh, to see the White Walker. Julian, I know it lost there a lot of go. blood, but the mag dragons are magic. You don't know. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> that was a throat shot. Okay, my my other big problem scene going back to them walking up with her thirty seven soldiers to the gate. Was it was a diplomatic envoy. I explained this already. Okay. Yeah, but they didn't have any gardeners on that side of the of King's Landing because there were weeds everywhere. What kind of presentation is that? Valid point. Nick, your thoughts? I don't like that you talk about gardeners and the two of you turn and look at me. I, shit. <laughs> yeah. So thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, okay, so the Tyrion and Kyburn exchange words, and then and Tyrion, I guess, field. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrion decides he's going to have his walk up to a dragon moment. What is yeah, Nick's a secret gardener. Anyway, then he's going to face Cersei, face to fa face to really high face, and she has those archers uh, ready their bows. And I'm thinking, this is it. We're finally, something, something with weight is going to happen in the final season of Game of Thrones. And nothing! <laughs> Fucking nothing! <laughs> Again! Shit. Let's be, let's be nice to the table. It's a lot of passion. <sighs> This this isn't this is my stuff. This isn't. And this then isn't they're gonna follow. Property. They're gonna we're gonna tease you with doing <laughs> something Game of Thronesy, and instead do something new Game of Thronesy and kill this character. I don't give a fuck about. I'm sorry. Don't care. I don't we care about the Sunday. I okay. care about her a little bit. A little, a little bit. She and Grey Worm were gonna have a thing, but but I mean, as soon as they started making plans for the future, I mean, they both were slated to die. <laughs> yeah. You don't make yeah. plans for the future in the final season. But Grey Worm looked away. And then they had that long look at Daenerys, very upset. She, she was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ya, Sarge." Hey. It's a lot of like grimacing looks and angry, like moments, but nothing. Oh, like yeah, she had the ugliest face right after she, it's like head came off. She was like, I like that Missandei said uh, <laughs> the whole time you're like, ugh. Jakaris. <laughs> Jakaris. Was hoping that would like do something. Yeah, didn't do, no no tinglys, no weight, just ugh. Well, she's basically like 
hey, burn this motherfucker down. Yeah, I was waiting for the dragon to go, and then they just, all right, we're into it. But you saw the dragon slain things on the walls. Yeah, oh, that, I mean, I was thinking about that too, but I, th- I thought that's what was going to happen, but it's and just not. Thoughts on Jamie's wonderful decision to go back for Cersei? He, I don't touched think on that a little bit. I don't think he's like. What is he really? Gonna, where would they go? He's like, let's get out of here. They're gonna light this thing up. And then also, like, why would she leave if he j- also if he just found out that she was able to take down one of the dragons? Obviously, she's feeling more invincible than ever. Like, I don't know what he's going to tell her. Well, is Jamie going to rejoin Cersei? No, I think he's going to slice her up. But, I mean, I think Nola agrees with me. It seems more like he's going back because he's like, I'm a monster, she's a monster, but I've always done everything for her. I'm going back for her. My, my, my family. That's who That's who Jamie is. He's, he's Vin, Diesel. Vin Diesel from Fast and the Furious. <laughs> is there saving Cersei at this point? Hell no. No, she's too far gone. She's she's been so she is too drunk far gone. with power. She's the most interesting character in this whole thing right now. That's why they're not using her that much. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, she's getting cured. Okay, then we got Tyrion and Varys. Uh, we talked about this a little bit already. How far will Varys go against Danny? Will he kill her? Because they were hinting around at that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Well, I think I don't know if he he's not making it to the end of the season, or he's not making it out of the finale. Well, he's he's like the a very subtle killer, I would say. It could be that like they get to the end and everything's happy, and Barry's poisoned her or something, and she dies, and Tyrion's like, I know who did this. And then he goes and gets various and kills and the, him. Oh, and then the new series is Detective Tyrion. No, I'm more saying that it could be like they, they come to an agreement, Danny does the right thing, but it's too late and Varys has already put his plans in motion and he kills her. Mm. And then Tyrion goes to get Tyrion to get Varys, and then John is like has to be the king. Yeah. Well By the way, Chad is saying that Cersei isn't pregnant. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think so either. Cause she, she specific, she on purpose had, uh, had Jamie in the bed and opened the door when one of the servants were coming, so that she would be seen in the bed, so that when she was saying she was pregnant, people would believe, cause they need. So now she's telling bed. Euron it's his baby. Yeah, but nobody's telling Euron that she was seen. Like, I don't know who was telling Euron. Maybe later he'll be like, "Yo, I heard." other things but well it keeps her it keeps him locked in to tell him that I'm pregnant because now he's like oh I'm about to be a king right now so yeah. so that's why she's just throwing around the pregnancy card like some trailer trash right now damn I she could be pregnant because they did the whole thing where Tyrion brings up how she's supposed to be protecting I, her kids but I thought and it I think, affected her slightly but I think that was, I think it affected her in the way that she was more so like, damn, but I'm not pregnant though. So I hope he doesn't realize that this is very transparent and this is why I don't give a shit. Sink. And then chop that head off. All right. So Carlo always likes to ask, what do we think is going to happen next episode? We don't watch the next time on. Please no spoilers from the chat. Uh, I think that. Masande uh, is part of the faceless men or the headless people, headless women. And uh, making things up now? 100%. Okay, great. As are the writers. So he's like, uh, just, <laughs> just my right to be making up the new headless women. Well, what? We got two episodes left, which means that this next episode, second to last episode, a lot of series tend to go big with the second to last. And end on like a cliffhanger so that the final episode can wrap it up and then spend at least a third to half of the final episode being like resolution. So this next episode, I say, is probably going to be a pretty big one. 
I say a, a few more people are going to die, except go. for the ones who got the free pass by leaving Winterfell without John. <laughs> so Sam and Gilly are fine. Tormund potentially is fine. Ghost might be fine. I think Clegainbowl is either going to be set up or getting or or it's leave. just going to happen. No, yeah. we're not going to get that. I guarantee we're not going to get that. There's no way that that happens. Why? There's no way. He's already he's already off doing his own thing now. There's no way he shows up to that fight. He doesn't give a shit anymore. No, he's that's already he's on headed. his way down to King's Landing. Because that, that's where he's going where he said that he has unfinished business down there. Oh, he did. Well, then, fuck. I thought he was just I thought he Wouldn't was just like... Wouldn't it be like, cool if Arya if I, kills the mountain first because that man's still on her list and, and the then hound, hound is pissed off and is like, well, then, fine, fuck you. I'm going to go finish off your list and he goes and kills Cersei. Yeah, that would... What if Joffrey just comes back? Oh, the Hound has to kill the Mountain. It's the prophecy. Uh, that's that's uh, that's Christina talk. Sorry, this is this is. Uh, I don't want to hear about your masters. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I don't know. I don't. I I think I think they are flubbing the final season of Game of Thrones the way I think they're flubbing it. And that no one's gonna die that needs to die. No, I think some people. I mean, it, okay, if Jamie makes Sorry, it out, I'm being pessimistic. If Jamie makes it out, then they messed up. I think they're playing a long con with John, and they're setting everything up to make us think John is gonna get on the throne. And I don't think John's gonna make it. I don't think Danny's gonna make it. I still have my money on Tyrion. Wow, I think they've like. Drop like Tyrion's fallen so much that it'd be difficult to enjoy him doing that. Yeah, it'd be it would be weird if Tyrion took the because now he's more a drunk, more of a drunk than ever. But he's the only character besides John that is still moral on the show, and John's yeah. moralness morality is going to get him killed the same way that. Ned's morality got him killed. If the you're you're, you're I think <laughs> I think you're being very hopeful with that because that sounds great. Oh, you don't think they'll kill anybody? But that's but that's not fan service. And I think what everything is being written as right now is very much fan service. Even if they don't have the plot of the final books, they know how Martin wants to end it. And Martin's whole thing was cuz he was talking mad shit about like when Lost ended. I know how I'm going to end mine. My ending is going to be far superior. I will not screw up the ending to my series. And even though he can't finish a book, right now I kind of have a little more faith that even if they don't know what to do for the final season, they'll get to the end and they'll have what he had in mind. I think they might have okay. killed some of what he would have had in mind. I think that like they'll probably try to do as much, make it... Because the thing is, I feel like his ending wouldn't be as fan service as as uh, this TV series at this point would kind of need. Because uh, I know that his books was supposed to be an anti-war series. So the idea that a war is what brings balance and peace wouldn't be something that he would... Right, and in one write. season we're about to have two pretty major wars. Supposedly, those are called battles. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and let's, let's check out the Deadpool. How okay. are we doing? Who had Masande die? Have, I I think I did. Mine didn't get brought here. Oh, yours got left behind. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't I know. I, I don't everything. know. I don't know where it went. But I'm pretty sure I had Masande dead. I knew. And I will say this: I have most of my Deadpool living, and for Masande to die means I really did not give a crap about her. Dang. Oh, I had Masande would live. Damn it! Oh, she was gorgeous. I also had <laughs> Rago living, so that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, we should have known when he was doing those like baby bird Ooh. flying lessons that he was done for. I have Lord Varys dying. That could still happen. Yeah, he's. Oh, we didn't even talk about Braun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Braun, the master of Highgarden. <laughs> see, fuck him too. No, see, I don't care about him either too. Like he's just now he's 
they've made him too flat as a character. It's like, oh, you really only want gold and a castle. Well, the thing is, yeah, the thing is that they're accidental. Well, so it's like, well, uh, he it might all pay off at the end of everything. Probably not, but it seems like they did kind of backpedal with him at least as of this episode because why would he? It seemed like it was purely out of camaraderie that he would kind of face a dragon in the face to jump and keep Jamie from getting burnt alive, and then for that same person. To completely backpedal, but there's something to be said. Like he didn't just come in guns blazing and kill both of them. I think he was looking for somebody to say, like, "Here's a better deal. Give me this, so I won't have to kill you." Yeah, but then he's just playing. Like whoever wins, he'll get a deal. Well, the thing is, if if Cersei sees both of them before she wins, then he wouldn't get that deal. Well, she's already seen Tyrion. Yeah, so she he's not getting that deal. So then, maybe he does. He knew that, so maybe he just is on their side. I don't know. Well, I have a feeling. I don't know why you have to punch him in the face, though. Before I him. think that might be it for Braun. I don't know if he's gonna do anything else big this season. Well, he has to show up before he either gets like, "Hey, what's up, lads?" And then, well, if he goes it. by boat, he can get anywhere in Westeros in like five minutes. But if he takes a horse. It's gonna be weeks. It's gonna show up too late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, any final thoughts from anybody? We've been on for a while. I think uh, it's about time to start wrapping it up. I think. I. Th- I don't know what I think. Uh, I think maybe everybody is. It's a combination of the writers and stuff becoming. Kind of like the I don't know tired with the series, <laughs> <laughs> and and the viewers thinking that they wanted more and then wanting to too much, <laughs> or like just like fuck. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm at this point. I think I'm uh, I'm preparing myself for a f- flubbed final season. I think what's going on right now, writing wise, is. It speaks to what you were talking about before about getting to George's ending is that they told the writers you need to get to here. They roadmapped it and you need to get to here and they forgot to develop characters and they forgot that we have relationships with these characters as an audience. Each and every one of these people we've grown with for the past eight years, nine years, right? Eight Eight years. And it's it's like I don't even know who these people are anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone's so flat. Well, it feels and, rushed. And, and yeah, it's just like it just get to the next major event, get to the next major event with very uh, shallow dialogue to get there. And it's just meh. But I think no matter what, still, I think history is still going to be kind to the series. So unless they do a Sopranos – or a, <laughs> oh, I would love that. Or a See, loss. I would love that. I would just do something outlandish. Just cut it off. Just cut it. I, I think, yeah, I think that, uh, history's going to be kind of it as long as they don't make it like Lost or Sopranos. I don't think I'm quite as as down on the season in the series. I know I, I bring up a lot of negative points, but I just I can't help but see some of these things. I I I feel like we can't judge until we see the end. Like if they stick the landing, all will be forgiven. If they don't, Lost Lost was perfect. Uh, it, the the final episode. We are not discussing Lost on this show. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I will not get into this. <laughs> and, sorry, uh, characters are not developed. Though they they none of them have arced correctly. Anyway, continue with your point. If they stick the landing, I think we'll be all right. Uh, last and then. Or second to last and then final episode a lot is dependent on that but I think they've been holding everything for that the season so far has just been such a roller coaster of like nothing 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 big episode nothing 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 I think they're just going to end it with two big episodes if episode five is a bridge with more setup and more BS I think a lot of people are going to be upset yeah it would have been a big waste of a season and and for no and like this episode remember when we were all excited about 80 minute episodes 
going into this one. No reason this needed to be eight minutes. <laughs> no reason. Anyway, all right. Let's send her home. Sorry, I just I really like Nola's comment to you. You haven't arced correctly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our social media. Uh, as always, you know we're on Twitch at Addicted MP. Uh, this video will be posted to YouTube later. Uh, look for Addicted Media. We also release another episode of Ready Player Drunk this week. It's, we're playing Sunset Riders. Uh, go check that out. It's pretty hilarious. I'm on that one. Nobody realized it was a bullet hell game that you die in one shot. So there was a lot more beer drunk than they thought there was going to be. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on Instagram, we're Addicted MP. Think that oh and Twitch we're also addicted MP. On everything we're addicted MP. Look us up there. Yeah. Have a good night, guys.